With the first pick in the 2001 NBA Draft, the Washington Wizards select Kwame Brown from Lynn Academy, Brunswick, Georgia. Georgia High School Player of the Year was Kwame Brown, average 20 points, 13 boards, 6 blocks. There have been comparisons, uh, guys, to Kevin Garnett in the terms of athleticism, to Chris Webber for his low post game. And what a, what a moment, here it is, for Kwame Brown. For the first time in NBA draft history, high school kid is number one in the draft. Number one pick in the draft. You sat there listening in the pregame show as so many people said it's not good for high school players to go right to the NBA. What do you have to say now? I mean, I, I'm at peace with my decision to uh, go to the NBA, and uh, I'm not responsible for what other people think. Uh, I think I made the right decision, and I'm just going to bless my family. And uh, It's amazing how God works, so I'm just going to keep living. Your son is so likable, but also unassuming. What concerns do you have uh, going from Brunswick, Georgia, to Washington, D.C. in the NBA? Well, I'm a person that used to live up north anyway, so it don't bother me, so I love it. I have friends in Washington. What does this decision mean to you financially? Uh, it means financial stability. I mean, uh, I'll be coming into money that I've never seen before, you know, so... I mean, it's just a great opportunity to, to touch so many lives, and hopefully I'll be able to do that. Well, 95, four teams passed on Kevin Garnett, and 96, 12 passed on Kobe, 97, 8 passed on Tracy McGrady. But Washington could not pass on Kwame Brown. Congratulations. Let's go back to Ernie. All right, thank you very much, Craig. And uh, right now we want to go to Washington. John Thompson is there, and I think we recognize the guy with him, Michael Jordan. Take it away. Michael, Kwame Brown. I missed a lot of rumors about you guys possibly trading the pick. What possessed you to keep him and go for Kwame Brown? Well, obviously, uh, you can see he's a, he's a well-educated kid. I think he's done a lot uh, in terms of his basketball capabilities. I think it's up to Doug as well as the Washington Wizards to help this kid develop, and he certainly has the skills. Now, we entertain a lot of possibilities, but none could change our minds in terms of what this kid could uh, do in the long range for, what, for the Washington Wizards. Well, I mean, it's one of those scenarios, Michael Jordan in the two guard spot, Charles Barkley <laughs> in the power forward, and Kwame Brown playing the center. Well, actually, I think Charles should be getting the message. These kids, <laughs> these kids can play multi-positions, so uh, no, it had nothing to do with me. You know? and, uh, in all honesty, I just felt like, you know, I had to make my decision based on that Michael Jordan's nowhere around, and this kid's going to fit the bill for us. Well, in, in, in looking at him, a lot of speculation, a lot of conversation about age, whether a kid should come out, shouldn't come out. How much did that factor into your decision with him? It, it factored in a lot, because if we felt like this kid was not mature enough that he could handle the surroundings and that we were going to make a, a grave effort of making sure that we have some people that can support him, uh, then we probably wouldn't have done this. But we feel he can handle it. I think we're going to do our best effort to try to make sure that he focus on what's the most important things uh, for him and his family. But uh, I think Kwame's going to be just fine. Thank you for taking the time. We're going to go back to Ernie now. Okay. And hey. Charles in that power forward position, yeah. Ernie. Hey, Sorry, yeah. Charles. Yeah, thank you very much. And while we got you there, Michael, how are your ribs feeling, by the way? A uh, lot better. A lot better. And we've tried to get some answers out of Charles here. Maybe you guys can sh sh share a special moment here. You and Mike can talk. Nobody will, will reveal what you say. I'm just glad his little ribs are all right. He's been <laughs> whining about it for like two or three weeks now. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Charles. You you can forget I'm still the boss. If you need a job, I'm about you to be quiet. Are we going to see this happen? Can you tell us anything tonight? <laughs> no, I can only tell you that I have a very good player coming to Washington, D.C., and I may not need another. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, and his, name, and his initial is all right, CB. I tell you what, not CB, KB is KB. pretty good. <laughs> I appreciate that. No I'm problem. A, I'm not sure I might even consider coming down to you up to Annie. <laughs> Stay at TNT. I think that's your best effort. <laughs> I, I appreciate that. No problem. I'm with you. I'm with you, MJ. Thank you very much. Hey, I'm with you, man. You could, you could take that kid. Hey, we, we want you here, Charles. Believe me. Hey. Meantime, hey, you know, Charles, I have to make another pick. I, I think that's why we're here. Let's go. Let's go back to the commissioner. <laughs>